Science. Honey has been used as a medicine since time immemorial, as a remedy for digestive problems, bad circulation, breathing difficulties, and of course, as the ultimate elixir for a sore throat. But honey is also an effective antiseptic and antibiotic, with the power to ward off wound infections, reduce inflammation, and promote healing. The medicinal molten gold includes germ-killing inhibins, which slow down the production of bacteria, and the protein defensin-1, which helps stimulate the immune system. Besides honey, bees produce other useful substances such as propolis. This is a yellow, waxy resin they collect from trees and use to fill the holes in their hives. We realized that this propolis could have an antiseptic effect as an antibiotic or anti-inflammatory. And when they leave the hive, we are able to extract it and purify it. This purification is such that one can produce a small alcoholic extract which can help because it is quite thick, fat, and contains considerable vitamins, minerals, and has a very interesting effect on bronchoalveolar respiration. For example, if you have a child suffering from a little asthma, you put five drops of propolis in his breakfast, you mix it and it'll solve the problem immediately. Bee Therapy's most prized product, however, is Royal Jelly, a concentrated honey made exclusively for queen bees. To increase production, the queen is removed and her larvae stored in special cells. The workers then intensify their production of Royal Jelly in a desperate bid to nurture a new queen. Despite claims royal jelly has youth-enhancing properties, for many the buzz is unwarranted. Professor Joyeu says it's more interesting for dementia conditions. Si. If I was an elderly person who is afraid of having Alzheimer's because it's in my family or I don't know exactly where my car keys are, then I can take the royal jelly on a regular basis, not just once a week, but every day. Another product is bee venom. But how and why would you collect venom from a bee? To get a bee to sting you, you have to threaten it. Boris de Bucharest beekeeper uses electricity. This is the device for collecting the bee venom. In, uh, it uh, consists of a network, electric network. Uh, after, uh, the bee can take out the sting without to die. Once the venom is harvested, it is usually processed in a laboratory where it is turned into a variety of products. Bee venom therapy, as it is known, is used to treat conditions like arthritis, either as a cream or in its purest form, the sting. Whilst this method remains scientifically unproven, it still has its fans, among them former French discus champion Marie's. She was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis and autoimmune disease, but decided against treatment with conventional drugs like steroids. I decided to turn to apitherapy because I belong to a family of beekeepers. Some people from my village with rheumatism used to come to see my father to relieve their pain problems, and my father would use the bees to sting them wherever it hurt most. Marie set up her own hive at home and has been treating herself with a sort of bee sting acupuncture. Researchers believe certain compounds in the venom reduce inflammation and help the body to release natural healing compounds. And since Maurice began her sting operation, her symptoms have gone into remission.